and welcome to Sotantra Pain Analytics and Solutions for Everyone. You're here to learn how to self-release the extensor digitorum muscle. Uh, that's because Sotantra the app told you that you may have a trigger point on it. If you're someone who works on a computer all the time and you're doing a lot of this, this kind of motion like typing like this, you most probably have a trigger point on your uh, extensor. And, um, so the best way to, uh, to release it is to use a ball. And you just bring it here. And so remember, uh, the way to find it was to move these three fingers and locate uh, your, um, your uh, extensor digitorum. Now take the ball and keep it down there and just rest on it. And move it around. If you find other spots uh, that are sensitive, that are referring pain, by all means stay on them. And don't, uh, you don't have to just work on the extensor digitorum, go with your feeling. If you feel there are other spots on it, please go ahead and um, work those muscles. It will be closer as you roll towards the elbow. There, now I found it. That's bringing the pain right there in this right in the central section. And just hold on it 30 seconds to a minute. Remember if you press too much, the muscle tends to jump away and slide away under the tools. So you want to bring your weight only as much as is right and then slowly let it sink and let it soften and, and the muscle will accept that uh, tool uh, eventually. Inhale and release. And that's all there is to uh, releasing um, the extensor digitorum muscle. This is Vatantra Pain Analytics and Solutions for everyone. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to stretch the muscle. The stretch uh, for the extensors, uh, whether it's extensor carpi radialis, brevis, extensor digitorum, and extensor carpi ulnaris pretty much remains the same. Uh, we're still going to use a wall. This is Vatantra Pain Analytics and Solutions for everyone. Download the app and get freedom from pain.